Well, hi, folks. So these are some thoughts on the past is not the present. It was a line I, my wife and I were watching the movie Moonlight about a young man who's sort of in search of his own identity. And uh, one of his mentors uh, just made that comment. The past is not the present. And I, I mean, I immediately wrote it down. And I thought, man, there's there's something there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But uh, so today I'm doing something with it. I've been thinking about it all summer long. So but it made me think about uh, an adult ed graduation speech that I that I did a few years back. And, you know, and I told the folks, I mean, who, many of whom were high school dropouts, that you 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 can stop saying that you're a high school dropout now. That's the past, right? That's that's not who you are. You you are now a graduate. You are now a person who has a diploma. So don't say that anymore. Just let it go. Move on. Um, and I think uh, many of our unemployed, long-term unemployed folks um, are, are dwell on the past. This is who I used to be. And I think one of the things that we have to do is we really have got to help people uh, move forward in that mindset. The past is not the present. Live in the present. Be in the moment. And William Bridges talks about this. William Bridges, uh, with his transition theory, where he talks about you begin with the end. In other words, you got to end whatever. If you're going to move on, you have to end it. Uh, and you know, so I think about a client I had who uh, was a person who owned a, a a local restaurant business and actually his his parents owned it before him and so he worked in this place since he was in high school and uh he sold it and so he comes to me and he says what's my next move well he emails me from it, that the, the name of the business he had retained that he still had that website and he still had that email and he came to me with a shirt that had the name of the restaurant. All his shirts had the name of the restaurant, his emails. And I said to him, I said, you need to begin with the end. I talked about William Bridges and said, begin with the end. You have to end that life in order for you to move on. Now, there is, Bridges talks about that neutral zone. And the, in that neutral zone, there's, it's the great unknown. So when we're working with clients who are trying to move on and having trouble moving on, that's just, the neutral zone is pretty scary, but they have to end that past. That's not who they are. I'm moving on. There's a lot of creativity that can be involved in this neutral zone, but you got to get through that neutral zone and that exploration in order to begin a new, a new thing, a new life, a new career. Um, so one of my words for this, uh, one of my three words is be, and it's about being in the moment. It's about being present. And I think, uh, as I think about the past is not the present, it's just a great reminder about we can't have regrets from the past. We can't change the past. There's a lot of wasted energy in the past. Um, be in the moment and, and before, go forward. But uh, the past is not the present. And that's what we need to help our clients understand in order to move on. Well, I hope you like this. I've been playing around with this for a while and I wanted to kind of get this out. And so uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks.